IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world. I think for most of us, the, uh, the notion that we can drive by and compare petrol prices is one of the easiest commodities that uh, we all can uh, look at and evaluate. Now, with petrol prices in the UK hovering around the £1.40 per litre per unit, then these prices have been uh, of a lot of interest for some time. And uh, increasingly, we're seeing um, intelligent players look at the UK downstream market and consider whether they can make a reasonable return or whether their money is best spent elsewhere, often uh, investing in upstream assets uh, on which they can make uh, a decent return. So interestingly, we've seen uh, quite recently a deal which has seen Total uh, actually divest itself of a good number of its service station network. Total, a major operator here in the UK for a long time. And we've also seen Shell, on the other hand, on the other hand actually pick up a uh, goodish clutch of these same stations. So you might say, well, how can these two companies see the markets so differently? Well, in many ways, we're seeing a, a renewed interest in good sites that can be used for convenience stores. So that is to say, for sales other than, and in addition to, the diesel, petrol that you and I buy week in, week out. And good sites will command a premium. We're seeing this today, and we're seeing buyers very ready to evaluate portfolios and to uh, look to augment what they've already got and also, in fact, to slim away uh, at times uh, what they've had for a time. So we've seen an interesting, interesting step in that respect. And Shell, who are by any standards a major player, are shuffling the pack and are making inroads uh, in, uh, in their portfolio. And that's interesting. Total, as we know, have had a long-term interest in moving away from the UK, uh, but still retain an interest in their aviation fuel, specialty fluids, uh, and other businesses. Uh, so they, they keep a foothold where they believe they can make money. Overall, it's a continuing development uh, stemming right through from refining, a topic that uh, we, we covered not too long ago in which we're seeing, again, some players elect to uh, move their capital away from refining, move it upstream to an area where they can uh, explore and find, uh, find oil. Uh, we're seeing others get interested in refining. And the recent uh, news around the Grupa Lotus refinery in Poland, good example of that, where uh, there is interest in an asset which uh, others find um, less appealing. So overall, uh, continuing cut and thrust in the, the downstream retail market, we are seeing uh, players look for value where they can't find it. They will actually look to direct their capital elsewhere. And I think that'll keep it quite dynamic in the years to come. We're also seeing uh, similar kind of moves in other countries. The UK has a, uh, a pretty dense and a pretty well-developed uh, service station network. We are seeing fairly traditional services deployed through that network in terms of uh, car washing, sea stores. Uh, so we're not seeing any, any radical services developed. What we are seeing is the, is the leveraging of the prime sites to actually really turn the screw and uh, develop margin. Uh, per litre sold. So it's, um, it's testing times and we're certainly seeing the, the more fleet of foot actually uh, move quite quickly on this, snap up good sites and really challenge their competition. So it's an exciting time and I think we'll see further developments in other European countries where similar infrastructure and similar possibilities exist. IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world.